Hi everybody, today is April 18th, 2013. Yep, if you heard that they were holding a drill the same day as the explosion there in Texas, you would be correct. This is only a drill. And here's an update about that drill. Due to the events in West Texas last night, North Hills Hospital, and the NCTT RAC have chosen to cancel today's emergency preparedness drill. Many of the same resources planned for the drill have already been deployed to West to help care for the victims down there. Now, according to their Facebook page, it was a regional exercise called Black Rain. The scenario was for North Central Texas region is impacted by a radiological catastrophe at Kamakachi Peak nuclear power plant. On their website, it says it was to be a full scale exercise called Black Rain. The North Central Texas region is impacted by a radiological catastrophe at Kamakachi Peak Nuclear Power Plant. The blast and residue fallout results in many injuries and fatalities within the immediate hazard area and densely populated DFW Metroplex area is affected by blackouts and rolling blackouts due to loss of power generation. Blast and fallout damage results in a critical taxing of the medical community and generates a potential need for medical evacuation and vast number of worried well within the metropolitan population. Region 2 of the Texas Emergency Medical Task Force EMTF must activate and deploy its ambulances, AMBUS and MMU strike team to assist in the first response and contamination monitoring of efforts of the medical community. Our thoughts and prayers go out to the victims, loved ones, and first responders affected by this terrible tragedy. I'd like to know what's with the Super Bowl signs along the outside perimeter of their buildings. North Hill Hospital is proud to be hosting one of the largest emergency preparedness drills ever held in the state of Texas this week. We will be partnering with the North Central Texas Trauma Regional Advisory Council and first responders from throughout North Texas to test our equipment and processes so when a real disaster happens we'll all be ready to respond. Now this is what they had posted before it was canceled. This drill is even timelier in the wake of the bombings at Monday's Boston Marathon. Our prayers go out to the victims involved and we are proud of the first responders, EMS, fire, police, race workers, and hospital staff who so bravely cared for the injured. Well, they didn't mention the special forces that were there, did they? If you live near North Hills Hospital, you will see a lot of activity in our parking lot over the next three days. As the NCTTRAC sets up a mobile 140-bed hospital, along with dozens of ambulances, several ambus, multiple patient ambulances, and helicopters. And this is only a drill, and will simulate a hospital evacuation kind of like a nursing home, huh? That they did have to evacuate there in West Texas. Something that might be necessary in the event of a tornado, a hurricane, earthquake, or prolonged power failure. Setup for the drill will take place Tuesday and Wednesday, with the drill occurring on Thursday. At no time will regular patient care be affected, as the drill will use only actor patients and will be confined to non-patient care areas and the parking lot. Tune in to our Facebook page. Now the Facebook page is for North Hills Hospital and it reads, due to the events in West Texas last night, North Hills Hospital and the NCTTRAC have chosen to cancel today's emergency preparedness drill. Many of the same resources planned for the drill have already been deployed to the West to help care for the victims down there. Our thoughts and prayers go to the victims, loved ones, and first responders affected by this tragedy. So they were already setting up and getting ready for this drill, and they have six photos here. It says, setting up for the large-scale drill today, building a 140-bed mobile hospital in our parking lot. Drill will take place Thursday morning. Here's another image of that. You can see the different buildings. Here it shows the mobile medical unit. 
another image of the portable 140 bed mobile hospital another image of the portable hospital and another one so wasn't it just a coincidence that they were doing this 80 miles away so they could have been there in an hour and a half with all this equipment boy were they lucky all right bookmark my site i'll keep you up to date please stay safe and i'll talk to you later God bless you. Bye.